It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see the teams from Broadway Joe's Guarantee and Super Bowl III. It's the Indianapolis Colts and the New York Jets, and it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 25. It is time for football as we welcome you to another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, glad to have you in the booth with us here on EA Sports. Greg, this one of those intriguing matchups because we've got a couple of quarterbacks that most important position trying to bounce back after seasons where injury derailed their hopes for a good campaign. And it's just so difficult when you look back on each of these teams' prior season just last year. It's hard to separate how much of their up and down, how much of their struggles was because of the injuries at the quarterback positions, whether they were in the game or just battling through on the game day. Or was it the rest of the roster? Well, I think with both of these quarterbacks now being healthy and back to looking like their old selves, we're going to get a lot better idea of just how good the rest of these rosters are now that their two quarterbacks are back on the field. To return, it's Isaiah Davis. Now an opening past the 30. And they will finally get him down and get all the way close to the 40-yard line. Well, the Jets come out with Aaron Rodgers. Of course, all the buildup in 2023, it lasted all of four snaps, but the man is a legend. Super Bowl champ, 10-time Pro Bowler, Greg, his 20th NFL season. There's not many guys, Mike, in NFL history that while their career is still ongoing, they already are considered a no-brainer finding themselves in Canton one day. And this guy is certainly at the top of the list. Let's not forget, this is not some washed-up quarterback who can't let go of the past. He is still capable of playing at an all-pro level. And if he continues to do so, any team he's on is going to be a Super Bowl contender. And they'll have it across midfield, down at the opposing 46-yard line. When we met with these coaches during the week, Mike. They told us the emphasis this week about getting the run game going early. And we see it here. Nice first play pickup. Fresh set of downs. Play action now with Rodgers. He's going to keep it himself. Well, let's give credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was nowhere to go with the ball for that quarterback. He had no choice but to just tuck it down himself, and he's able only to pick up a short game. Second down and eight. From the gun, Rodgers. Throw to the sideline. Well done. Good job with the feet. Stays in bounds. It looks like, and yes, they do have the first down. It's a gain of 10, and they'll get a fresh set of downs. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. An incompletion there isn't ideal by any means, Mike, but I think that's one of those passes where he made sure that ball was either going to end up in his guy's hands or out of bounds. We'll try again. It's second and ten. From the shotgun, it's A-Rod. The open man is Wilson. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. This is a great example here of just not getting too complicated as an offensive coordinator. Who's one of your best players on the field, and how do you get the ball in his hands? Third and five. Rodgers going up top again. That's taken in by Cotton, the tight end. 17 yards. First down. These are the chunk plays they thought they could get here against this pass defense. They thought the passing game favored their offense in this matchup, and I think we can expect this to be the case the rest of the game. They can still get a first down at the one. First and ten, they go from the 11. And a good run there. Going to get them five yards. 
Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. It's a bootleg with Rodgers. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. So instead of celebrating a touchdown, he's just heading back to his huddle trying to keep his head up as everyone kind of looks at him sideways. If that ball hits your hands at this level, you've just got to make the catch. That's what your quarterback's counting on. That's what your teammates are counting on. Frankly, that's what this entire stadium is counting on. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Carlson's kick is good. And the Jets are out to an early 3-0 lead. You know, they did a lot of good things on this opening drive, Mike. I know they stalled out once they got down there into the red zone. They're going to need to work on finishing some of these drives as this game moves along. But that's a good three points to start this game. points on that opening drive we'll see the response as the kicks away Anthony Gould now to return a very good field position to start as the return is past the 40 Indianapolis led out by their quarterback Anthony Richardson the number four overall pick in 2023 had some highlight moments but injured most of the year Greg now in his second year in the NFL out of Florida. We throw around so loosely these days, Mike, the idea of being a physical freak, right? This specimen that we just aren't accustomed to seeing, let alone at the quarterback position. The arm talent, the ridiculous blend of size and speed, the ability to make plays with your feet and extend. All of these things come to mind when we look at this guy. Now, going forward, how does he strike that balance between being the game changer and that aggressive athlete with the ball in his hand? but also finding a way to stay on the field and be able to develop. Make no mistake about it, though. The energy in this stadium is palpable, and he's the biggest reason why. Here's second and six. Here's Richardson. Open man. That's Alec Pierce. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Get into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back. But the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback stays with him, keeps him to a short game. Here's a second and nine. Out of Shapka, Richardson. That one into the hands of Daniels. He'll be brought down. It was a nice pickup, but a penalty flag on the play. Early indications of a hole. Quentin Nelson, former All-Pro guard, guilty on that one. On second down, Richardson is going to air this one out. That is hot! And he will go all the way. Mo Alley Cox. Touchdown, Indy. A beautiful.
beautiful combination in the air there. The pass downfield and bringing it the rest of the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And it's really just a great route, Mike, and then a beautiful throw. The accuracy of the throw is what allowed the receiver not only to secure the catch, but then be able to turn it up and finish the play and find himself in the end zone. Matt Gay on for the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Colts move out to a 7-3 lead. team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Set to return is Xavier Gibson and he'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drop they'll break the huddle Coming up now for first and ten. Rodgers to throw. That's a short one taken in by Conklin. Nice game on first down, but the penalty flags come in. And the question now, will the play stand? Start this drive on the ground. It's Hall. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of one. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. They'll go again with Hall. And a nice run there as he surges forward. A gain of eight and sets up third down. Rogers now. It's out wide and trying to tight end screen. Done as they get the conversion on third and 13. These third down conversions are just so important, Mike. Everybody stresses we want to possess the ball, give our offense as much opportunity to end as many drives as we can, scoring points. So if you want to stay on the field, you better be good on third down. A Rod down to throw on first down. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. They'll run. This is Hall. A modest game. Maybe two yards. It's second down. Yeah. 
Rogers. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. Third down coming up. You just can't say enough about how hard it is to play cornerback in today's modern NFL, Mike. I mean, not only are these wide receivers better than ever, but the way the rules are written, you're really out there on an island with not a lot of options. Your technique has to be perfect. Your timing has to be perfect. It's exactly what we saw here, and he makes a great call on the ball. First down grab in the first of the game for Adams. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. And think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. drive they had to settle for three so they definitely didn't want to have to do that again so really solid drive from start to end and they're finally able to cap it off with a touchdown Anders Carlson now for the PAT He's got it. And the Jets are on top. It's now 10 to 7. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. Josh Downs now on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Here's first and ten. Off the play fake, it's Richardson. That ball broke it up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down, couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. And the success of this play, Mike, all comes down to the timing of the defender. You get there a little bit too early, you risk pass interference. You get there a little too late, it's a big pass completion. Timing your hand and playing through the ball is something they work on with these defenders all the time. And next time they throw the ball downfield, I wouldn't be surprised if they target somebody else. And they'll hold them to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end. From the gun on third down, Richardson. And getting away, incomplete. No separation that time. Tightly defended. It brings up fourth down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. The drive begins with a run, and it's all. And not a whole lot there, up to about the 25.
Here's second and nine. To throw, it's Rodgers. Over the middle, that's Corley. And the work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page. And when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. Here's third down and a few inches. They'll send a tight end in motion. They'll try to run for it with Hall. And he's going to have a Jets first down. At least at first glance, they'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. I think everybody in the stadium saw that run coming, Mike, but good luck stopping it. I mean, all he really had to do was just fall forward, and it would be enough to pick up the first down. Rodgers on first down. A throw left side, taken in by Wilson. And they'll have it across midfield, down at the opposing 46-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently, not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. Now a second down throw from Rodgers. And that's going to wind up incomplete. He was looking for Garrett Wilson there. Now it's going to be third down. So on a day where he's completed, give or take half of his passes, Mike, you have to imagine there's a handful of throws he'd like to have back, and I think that last one falls in that category. But the biggest thing, and most fortunately for them, they find themselves with a lead despite a bit of an up-and-down performance out of their quarterback. Terrific play all the way around. Finished off by the receiver, who not only made the grab, but Greg turned it up and takes it into the end zone. And that's the tricky part, Mike, that transition from receiver to runner. And in this case, he does it flawlessly. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then get upfield and get yourself in the end zone. Carlson now for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Jets will get out in front 17 to 7. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. On the return, this is down. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. First and 10. First carry now for the former Badger, Jonathan Taylor. And he'll be stopped at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. From 
the gun. Richardson. That's the tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. So after one, 17-7 is the score. We're back to upstate New York in just a moment. So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. Richardson operating from the pistol. The open man is the tight end Grantson. And he'll wind up out of bounds past the 45-yard line. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. First and ten. Here's Richardson. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. It's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Oftentimes, it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air forever. You start overthinking it. You start really making more of it than what you should, and you let it slip away. Pats over the middle, but it's incomplete. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. On third down, they'll set up to throw. Here's a deep shot for Pierce. And this passing game continues to come up short these last couple of plays. That's two consecutive incompletions in a row. Now they're staring fourth down right in the face. Here's Rigoberto Sanchez now. The punt for the second time, looking to pin the opponent back deep. That's going to be out of bounds, no return. And the drive's going to start from just inside the 20-yard line. They'll come up here first and ten. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. The pass protection's been a little bit shaky at times, and that was the case there. And even though they're not going to go down for allowing a sack, it was allowing the pressure that ultimately prevented that pass from being completed. They'll try again here, second and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. And that's going to be incomplete, but a flag down in the backfield. That's the area we usually see holding. That's on the longtime cowboy, Tyron Smith. Throwing Rodgers. And that's going to wind up incomplete. Pressure certainly impacted the quarterback there. Couldn't get his arm all the way through. And it's going to bring up a third down. It's been a bit of a pedestrian game for this quarterback and ultimately this passing game here today, Mike. And I know they all would have loved to connect on that deep throw. I think that stat sheet would have looked a whole lot different. But just a little off in their execution and leads to an incompletion. Going for it all. This one popped in the air and intercepted. It's the safety, Julian Blackman. And he's going to set up his guys with great field position. A huge chance to cut into the deficit. 
Mike, there is a common phrase used in every defensive meeting room across the NFL, and it goes, tips and overthrows, gotta get those. And we saw it here, why? When that ball goes up in the air, the offense is trying to swat it down. They're trying to knock it down incomplete. And what are the defenders doing? They're hoping that ball falls right into their chest and they have a shot to come away with the interception. From the 35, it's first and 10. On the ground for the first time, here comes Jonathan Taylor. And he'll only be able to muster a couple of yards. Tony Adams, they're on the stop. Look him up on a second down and eight. They'll go again here with Taylor. He'll take this forward for about a yard at best. Quincy Williams in there for the stop. Gonna get this to the 25. Here's third down. They'll go play action. It's Richardson. And this ball incomplete on third down. So after their defense gives them a gift on their last drive and gets them the ball back down the field, they nearly return the favor following that dangerous throw of their own. And at this point, they're lucky to walk away with just an incompletion. Day's kick is good. And the Colts are back within a score. It's now 17 to 10. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. as the kicks away Davis now to return it and a solid run back there he'll get this out past the 30 yard line a fresh set of downs to work with it is first down and 10 From the gun, Rodgers to the outside, complete, it's Wilson. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. From the shotgun, it's A-Rod. Quick slam, and here's Adams. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. The whole idea of the play-action pass, Mike, is that you can slow the pass rush down enough that it allows longer, slower developing pass concepts to open up downfield. But in this case, they were on him so fast that by the time he got his head around, show continues what a first half he's had greg a third touchdown pass with that one mike what stood out to me the most so far is just the amount of space these guys have had to operate in i think if i'm this defensive coordinator me and my staff at halftime are revisiting this game plan they obviously felt good about it coming in but i don't think there's anything to feel good about thus far
Now Carlson to add the extra point. It's up and good. And the Jets move out to a 24 to 10 lead. Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. Here's Boom on the return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Set to go now on first. And 10. He'll start this on the ground. It's Taylor. And he'll get about six there. Setting up second down. He's got a man. That's Josh Downs. And he'll be tackled up around the 45-yard line. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play caller. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes. And there is a lot of room to operate. Richardson will give it to Taylor. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. Zone read. It's a give to Taylor. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Up until that run, this first half, it's kind of been tough sledding here for this run game. They'd love to see him get going. That last big pickup's going to go a long way. Richardson, out quickly to Pittman. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down, Richardson. Pass right side to down. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Looking to throw, Richardson. Coming open is Pierce. It's on target. A pickup there of 13. That's good for a Colts first down. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and they get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. play action Richardson now he'll run it initially Mike a really good job by the defense nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback he's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner a little slow reaction and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game here's a second and three fourth come Throwing is Richardson. And this one is caught by Pierce. 
And he's going to be run out after a gain of about six, but that'll be good enough for a first down. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. The key to good route running, Mike, is deceiving the man covering you into thinking you're doing one thing, and then you change it and do the other. And in this case, he had the defender thinking this was a vertical downfield route. And then next thing you know, he gets to his break point. He breaks in. And that ball's put right on the money for a big pickup. The Colts are going to be set up with first and goal. He couldn't quite break the plane. They'll have it at the one-yard line. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst, they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. They'll run here with Taylor. Trying to find a crease in there. It's a big pile of bodies. But he is going to come up short. This defense is able to get the hold here on first down, Mike, but they might have to do it three more times. I think if I'm this offense, I'm saying this is four down territory. I've got three more shots to gain one yard. Here you go. Again, it'll be Taylor. Trying to find a crease in there. It's a big pile of bodies, but he is going to come up short. They keep it on the ground twice, Mike, and they have no success. Now, if you're the play caller, that starts creeping into your head. Do you have confidence in a third attempt, or now do you try to change it up and go play action and put the ball in the air? Oh, his movement up front. That's going to make this third down a lot tougher. Back at the six-yard line, what can they do on third and goal? Richardson to throw. Taking up, and he's into the end zone. Anthony Richardson, touchdown Colts. Two touchdowns for him now in the afternoon. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Davis now to return it and their drive will begin at the 30 yard line so now Rodgers and the Jets ready to take over once more he's had things all his way in the first half those numbers are sensational he looks to add to him with another drive here with a gain of seven on first down. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The lineman cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast snapshot decisions or else it's going to lead to a penalty or him holding on to the ball too long. So it's something that teams want to implement 
but maybe not quite to the level that we see in the college game. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver, pick up a first down. First down for Aaron. That's a short one, take it in by Conklin. He's close to a first down. It's a gain of nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Rodgers going up top again. The throw there on second down. Going to be incomplete. Haven't even reached halftime yet, and we see this quarterback just continue to put the ball in harm's way and make bad decisions. He's lucky it didn't add another interception to his stat sheet, and as they approach halftime here, they got to regroup, and he's going to have to make the better decisions here in the second half. On third and one, here's Rodgers. That's taken in by Conklin, the tight end. That's catch three just on this drop. And it gets his team a first down. And that's an important conversion, not only because it keeps their offense on the field, and now they can go down and see if they can steal some late points, but either way, worst-case scenario, Mike, if you're the offense here, you want to possess the ball going into halftime. Don't give your opponent a chance to go down and score on you. So big pickup there. Now we'll see if they can turn it into some points. They'll throw again. Here's Rodgers. He's going to look deep for Adams. That is going to be pulled in. He's got it. Devontae Adams. Touchdown, Jets. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start of this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where, as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer. Because right now, they don't have one for this guy. Carlson's kick is good. And the Jets add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. time final minute of this first half we'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way he'll work his way across the 25 yard line They'll set up the screen to Taylor. They get 11 and quickly pick up the first down. We've really seen both teams have a lot of success moving the ball throughout this entire first half. And it just seems this possession is going to be more of the same as they start this drive. Line of scrimmage is the 37 yard line for first and 10. From the gun, Richardson. That's the tight end, Moali Cox. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down and three. Richardson. Indianapolis, that is their second. They stop it here with just under 40 seconds until halftime.
from the 39. Here's a first and 10. Here's Richardson. Again, they target Pittman. He's got another catch. And they'll get him up four here as he is taken down. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove. And there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way. Every play they call, you're wide open. And you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. 13 yards on that pass play. First down, Indianapolis. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. And as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well. You're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. So two seconds left to play, and the kick's away. And this one is fielded in the end zone, will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. So they come to the line for first down and 10. And they'll let that to run another play. Instead, just take a knee and take this on into the locker room. So we've reached halftime here in this 11-point game. As we'll head down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports. Halftime report. Coach. All right, Mike. We'll take it from there as we welcome everyone into our EA Sports studios and our halftime report. We got an excellent first half from the former MVP, Aaron Rodgers. He had it going right away. Two touchdown passes in the first quarter, two more in the second. Four touchdown passes all told. And he's likely not done yet. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators. Trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go, and the second half is underway. And he stopped at 25. The drive will begin there. Richardson had a good throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. A second down throw for Richardson. When you air it out like that on these big shots downfield, they're not always high percentage plays. It takes a lot of things to line up timing-wise, location of the field, accuracy of the throw. 
result in those big plays, but I think they've got to continue to search for those and try to generate a little bit of spark. From the gun on third down, Richardson. And that is incomplete. He was looking for Michael Pittman with that one. And it's going to lead to a fourth down. Every so often, Mike, you can see these offenses, and it looks like the passing game gets a little bit too predictable. And as the defense continues to flood the back end of these zones with extra defenders, they're continuing to force this quarterback to not only make some difficult throws, but to put the ball in harm's way. A fair catch called, and he's going to take it out beyond the 25-yard line. The Jets' offense and Aaron Rodgers getting ready to go once more. And he's been as good as advertised. Take you through some of the highlights. Four touchdown passes on point with his receivers right throughout and continuing to master running and executing this offense. play action Rodgers and he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on that's incomplete you know, there's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm right I think this was one of those situations here Mike where there was nowhere to go with the ball he tries to fit that one in there anyway and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete second down Rodgers Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. And this time is over before it can start. He's swallowed up. To force fourth down. Once the quarterback leaves the pocket, his hope is that it buys him a little time to allow second reaction downfield by his receivers. But what he's not accounting for is the speed in pursuit of that defensive end. I mean, watch him catch him from behind. He closes that space a lot faster than I think the quarterback anticipated, and he doesn't have enough time to get the ball out of his hand, and he takes the sack. On fourth down, the Jets turn it to the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt. And back deep, it is Josh Downs. And he's going to be hit and dropped right away. That's great coverage there. Winds up with nothing on the return. to Taylor and he'll be marked down at the 45 yard line finding yourself down here multiple scores in the second half the defense is going to give you some friendly run looks so don't be afraid to mix it in there but if you're going to find yourself coming back from this deficit you're going to have to do it primarily through the air with just a little bit of mix of the run now it's Richardson he'll keep it and a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. Good decision by the quarterback. In this situation, all you're looking to do is have a positive play. He decides to pull it. And that's exactly what he's able to do. A good spot here. Second and a yard. On the give. This is Taylor. And I don't think he got there with that one. Only needed a yard. Wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. And now we're looking at third down. Now the offensive coordinator's got a decision on his hand, Mike. It was second and one. He decides to go with a conservative run. Gets stopped for no gain. He's in the exact same position now on third down. Does he try to change it up? Or does he just turn around and hand it off again? He's got the first down. 
They'll bring him down at the 28. But the sticks will move. First down, picked up on the ground. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring him for a huge game. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. Richardson to throw it here on first down. Now he takes off. And he will slide down with the first down for the moment. But there is a penalty flag on the play. Here's Taylor, who managed to get two, maybe three on that carry. C.J. Mosley, the veteran linebacker, there to shut it down. Throwing on second down, Richardson. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catchability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. They'll come up to third and three. Out of Shaka, Richardson. Not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game. But it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page. And now brings up fourth down. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Colts are able to get it back within a score. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, you always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Davis now to return it. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Jets offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now he'll try to keep it going. Start this drive on the ground. It's home. And good blocking up front. Paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. We'll come to the line now on second and two. They'll go again with Hall. First down, tackle made after the pickup of three. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short, play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground, play it safe, pick up the first down. On first down, they go right back to Hall. But more could you ask for on first down. Nice run of eight, setting up second and short. The throw is Rodgers. Over the middle, it's the tight end, Conklin. 
They're going to work this down inside the 45. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. They will run it over center with Hall. And a strong first down run, a pickup of nine, setting up second and short. Another run here with Hall. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. Great job here defensively, Mike. Make them snap the ball again. Second and one, they're not conceding anything. Make it third and one and see if your defense can come up again with a stop for no game. You don't need much. It is third and inches. They'll try to run for it with Hall. And he's not going to get the first down. Met and brought down in the backfield on third and short. They do not get it done. The idea here for this offense is you're not really thinking necessarily touchdown. You're thinking first down. Let's get a fresh set of downs here and reset. But in this case, they suffer a loss, and it brings up fourth down. They're going to go, and it's Hall. And he's not going to get there. Coming up a couple of yards short. This is going to be a turnover on down. You know, more often than not in the NFL, games are won based on who wins critical downs. Well, that fourth down attempt right there was exactly that, and this defense came up huge for a big-time fourth down stop. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. Now it's Taylor. And a short pick up there to about the 36. Here's a second and nine. They go right back to Taylor. He's taken down, but just shy of midfield. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. On first down, they'll stay with Taylor on the ground. They'll take this forward, maybe two, three yards, but doesn't matter. We have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. Richardson will give it to Taylor. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. It was a couple of yards on that one. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. On second down, Richardson. He'll take a deep shot for down. And that is Paul in on the right sideline. Right inside the chop. A heck of a catch. Throwing Richardson. Now he'll run it. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. 
This is an element to his game that we don't necessarily spend a lot of time talking about. He's not known as a traditional runner at the quarterback position. But when he has some space like he had here, he is more than capable of not only converting first downs, but picking up big chunk plays. They'll run on first down with Taylor. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us. And right now, this defense has no answers. On first and 10, here's Richardson. Now a deep ball toward the end zone. Well, if you're going to target him in the end zone, you better come correct, man, because this guy, he embraces those moments of one-on-one -on -one coverage when it matters the most. And I think he just saved six by getting his hands on that one. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Not every pass has to be thrown downfield. You can rely on the run after catch, especially a big body like this tight end. Get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. Here's Richardson. Going to keep this himself. And these are body blows on any defense. This quarterback has the ability to make guys miss and do a lot of damage in the run game. And that's a nice pick up there. So we'll take it to the other end as we are through three. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and a yard. Looking to throw. Richardson. And he's in. Cross down. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Greg, how often do we say it's a one-possession game, but that's a two-part story. Part one taken care of right there with the touchdown. All right, Mike, so they go down and they get the all-important touchdown. But only half the time is this truly a one-score game. They need this two-point conversion here to tie it up. So here we go. Colts trying to get a little bit closer. They'll go for two now. Richardson to throw. He's got a man. That's caught. Give them the two. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. again and really he has not produced a whole lot of highlights as we thought about coming in that he could be a featured back in this one instead no running lanes no room to operate stuck at the line of scrimmage and generally taking this offense out of its flow
Here's first and ten. The shotgun, it's A-Rod. To the left side, and Adams has it. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. They'll run here. Whoa! And he's got it. First down. A pickup of four. Rodgers toward the middle of the field that time, but incomplete. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. They'll stick to the ground. Going to be very close to a first down. It's a good run there. Maybe just a couple of feet short. It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down, but that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage, and in a lot of situations, it'll get you the first down, just not here. On third and one, here's Rogers. He gets this complete finding Adams goes without saying this is a huge drive this game is all tied up fourth quarter that's a huge first down pickup now they got to see if they can get some points off this possession on first and ten here's rogers pre-snap to post-snap mix in zone mix in man they got to make it more challenging on the quarterback going forward they'll keep it on the ground and he'll get two on this one before being taken down Second down and eight. They'll run. And they'll take it down inside the 20. A run into the red zone. A pickup of six. Now a third and two. Tracked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense, and it's fourth down. You have to wonder if next time does the play caller give his quarterback some options to check out of this play. It was clear before the ball was snapped. This was not a great look for that play call, and you can see the end result. So out comes the kicker. Big spot for Anders Carlson. This to take the lead here in the fourth. And this one right down the middle. Good. And they take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And this has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. 
He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. So they lead by three here in this fourth quarter. Now have to turn it over to the defense as they kick it off. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. From the gun, Richardson. That's caught inside by Pittman on the slant. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. gun here's a give to Taylor and he'll work his way for about four yards and that's good enough for a first down Richardson gonna get it quickly out to down He's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Tight end going in motion here. On the handoff, it's Taylor. of pressure and the biggest thing really Mike is you want the front tip of the ball the part where your fingers cover to always be higher than the back tip of the ball so often you see that front tip go down and it makes it so much easier for that defender to kind of rake it out so you want pressure and remember now all turnovers have to be verified by a replay so they might be taking a look at this one at issue was the knee or any other body part except the hand down before the ball comes loose and are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field so that one overturned they say the runner was down and that will not be a fumble is third down. Richardson. And that is incomplete. The whole idea of that short pass is designed to get the ball into the hands of the receiver in space and let him do the rest after the catch. But the key word there, Mike, is get the ball into the hands of the receiver. He doesn't secure the catch, so there is no run after. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Jets' offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. The drive begins with a run, and it's home. And a nice run there. He'll get nine yards, but with 29. The 
will go again with Hall. And that'll be a gain of two and a first down. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. So, first and 10 now from the 30. Give up the middle with Hall. Lots of space. Pass the 45. Greg in the fourth quarter get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two score advantage yeah I think this just might end up being too much to overcome you said it once you get a two score lead this late in the fourth quarter there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it Carlson able to knock through the extra point and the Jets will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. Here's Gould on the return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. They'll come up here. First and ten. Throwing is Richardson. He'll get that. He's hit after the catch of the ball. Comes three. And this is taken in by the defense. Mike, we hear that term run after catch so often. And sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase. There's the catch. But before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away, properly held, points of pressure, front tip up against your body. All of that is kind of taken for granted. Catching it is just step one. You've got to secure the ball before you become a runner. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. Well, so often we see quarterbacks standing in the pocket, holding it, seeing if they can create something downfield. Well, not that play. That play was simple. Snap the ball to the quarterback, spit it out into the hands of your receiver, and let's see what he can do. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. Here's Rodgers. And that's a veteran quarterback doing what veterans do. Don't take the extra hit. Got the first down, get down. The drive continues. I love this call, Mike. Second down and short. One of the best downs in football to take a shot. Give credit to the defense. They were ready for it. And a nice job by the quarterback. Realizing there's nothing downfield. Take off, turn into a runner, pick up the first down. Rodgers keeping it himself. And he'll work forward for about four. It's second down. They went to the design quarterback run, and there just wasn't a lot of space for the quarterback to operate. You can see him kind of waiting for some of the blocks to develop. Never transpired. Didn't get a whole lot going. Short game. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back for the conclusion in a moment. Second down, a run with Hall. And this defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down.
They'll drop to throw. That's over the middle and taken in. He's got it. And they're going to have enough to convert here. And it sets up first and goal. They'll hand off. He'll keep it himself. They'll come up with nothing there. Fortunate just to get back to the line. And that'll set up second and goal. From the gun, Rogers. And he does a nice job to avoid the initial wave. They're going to get him down behind the line. You can tell what the decision is about how they want to approach fourth down by what they call on third down. If that was a run play, then you can bet they were going to go for it on fourth. But because it was a pass, and then they take a sack, I think this coach on fourth down is leaning towards settling for three. Anders Carlson here now to try the field goal. This, about as short as you can get. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Jets will add to their lead here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there, but I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Here's Gould on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Here's first and 10. Richardson, the look to throw. Complete, so the task gets more difficult. Time for maybe two plays. That's it. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, like, they know this offense has to be one dimensional. This has to be a pass. So, what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs, they clog up the back end, and at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. That'll be incomplete. And now we are down to likely just one more play. He decides to go with the safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. The crowd at MetLife on their feet for third down. Here we go. One final play. was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. That was the difference in this one.